Alright, what's up guys? Happy Zero Nine Seven here for another video. And today is Five Nights at Freddy's fifth anniversary. Now I'd love to say, oh I'm gonna play Five Nights at Freddy's for like an anniversary video or something, but no, I don't have a PC. So you're going to deal with this instead. Scottgames.com recently updated with a new photo. One that I find very interesting. Now, unlike popular theorists like Matt Pat, cough cough game theory, go check it out, cough cough, um, I can't analyze anything deep, but I can show you this, 2020, so Scott, oh shoot, uh, Scott basically just said to us, another game is on the way, and what I find interesting about this is that, well, it's expanding. Freddy Fazbear is no longer just from the pizzeria. Now, just from my guesses, I'm gonna say that this is Freddy, this is Chica, this is Foxy, and this is Bonnie. Now, with Bonnie and Foxy, it was honestly confusing, because originally... Actually, no, now that I'm looking at it... No, this might be Bonnie. Yeah, no, now... The reason I'm changing my ideas here is because I'm just looking at all the characters. The reason I think this is Foxy is because, look at that mouth. Well, that looks more like a Foxy-style mouth. That, and he also has a tail. I was going to say this was Bonnie, but then there was that. And that seems more like a girl's thing, so that would probably be Chica making this Bonnie. Even though, again, it's kind of confusing. Now... Now, another thing to realize is that this is in a stage in a mall. It's obviously a rock style, but if you look, you see all the neon lights, you can see arcade, something, I can't tell what that is, maybe someone else can tell, laser tag, and Fazbear Pizza. So this isn't like Freddy Fazbear Mall or anything, no. Fazbear Pizza exists within the mall, but Freddy Fazbear and his team uh, no longer constrained to the restaurant, I'd say. And again, like I s probably said earlier, I don't remember if I did or not, this is a game coming out in 2020, or at least I can only assume in 2020 the game's gonna come out. So, the nap isn't over. It's seemingly long from it. My question is, how is the direction of this going to go? And I say this because FNAF 6, Pizzeria Simulator, it ended, spoiler alert, with everything going in flames. All the spirits are released and sent back to heaven, except the purple guy, but we know exactly why he didn't go to heaven. Um, and, and, uh, Custom Knight wrapped it up with what happens to purple guy. Watch Game Theory if you don't know what I mean. Uh, and it's honestly... I'm curious as to how the series is going to go, because FNAF VR was obviously canon lore-induced game, and it was opening the pathway for the next series. The question is, what's going to happen? Because now Freddy and the gang have no dead children possessing their spirits. They're animatronics now, or maybe people in suits judging on the movements. So, and then another thing to question is, what era does this take place in? Like I said, it has bright neon lights and all this. Now, there's two ways that this can play, take place. This could be in the 90s, when malls were extremely popular. Or, again, judging by how brightly colored it is, it could be in the future. Because remember, Fazbear Fright opened in 2023, meaning Pizzeria Simulator is much further, much far flung further into the future, because it, it's after all the other games, and then FNAF VR is even past that, presumably several years, because, well, it's rebranding, they're remaking the brand, and now from the looks of this, they're rebuilding the animatronics, so, is this going to be another game where it's like, the first four games? Well, I should say first three games. Well, actually, no. Is it going to be you're sitting in an office or are you moving? Is what I'm trying to say here. Are we sitting in an office defending ourselves? 
Are we moving, trying to complete tasks? Is it a mix of both? Is this just going to be the, um, ultimate, shoot, what was it called? Is it going to be, like, the, not the sitting part of FNAF 6, but, like, the pizzeria simulator? Is it just going to be a pizzeria simulator mode? Is it going to be canon lore or not? There's many questions, and I'm now going to try something else. Let me check FNAFworld.com. Fifty-eight. This can mean two things. Either it's in the past at fifty-eight. It's nineteen fifty-eight, which wouldn't make sense depending on animatronics really didn't exist back then. Neither did molds. So it makes more sense to say that this is twenty fifty-eight. This is in the future. We know 2023 was when Fazbear Freight happened. We know FNAF BR was farther than that. So saying this is 2058 wouldn't be that far of a stretch. There we go. So now we have both of them up. We know the game itself is going to come out in 2020, and then we just have 58 here. 58 can mean, as far as I know, anything. Like I said, I haven't actually played the games. I've only been watching game theories on it. Again, go check them out. I do not have eye icons yet, because I don't know how to make that. I can't edit anything. <laughs> but, um... So... It's just... I'm trying to warp my mind around this. Obviously, someone's going to have to do a deep code... Deep source code dive into this and try and figure out, alright, what hidden teaser images are in here? Because we know Scott loves his hidden imagery. This might be a code conversation going on. The code always reveals many, many things. It's just nuts. So, obviously, we're going to have to keep checking up to see what's going on on FNAF games. But, happy Five Nights at Freddy's 5th anniversary. It ain't over yet. 58. Number to remember, my friends. Number to remember. See, I can make my own editing. <laughs> Zooming in and out on a screen. Oh, by the way, in case any of you didn't know, I'm actually doing this on mobile. Which allows me to zoom in, but also not edit. Yeah, anyways. So, where's this series going from here? I don't know. But, at the very least, I can say Freddy Fazbear is going to be in this new game. And who knows? These could be three completely new characters, not even based off the old ones that appear. It all depends on how Scott wants to take this thing. All I can say is, Scott, if I ever meet you, not only do I have a few questions for you, I also have a business proposition for you. Because man oh man, I have some ideas. Anyways, <laughs> personal desires aside, I am going to keep analyzing this image because obviously this version of Freddy Fazbear has not had quite the bad reputation. From the looks of it, they're actually very popular. You don't see cheering crowds as big as this, as big as this on any normal mall. Or do you? Actually, now I'm curious. I don't go to malls. So, is it possible? I don't know. All I know is that wherever this series goes... Oh, shoot. Wherever the series goes from here, it's going to be connected to both that number and this teaser. It's going to be in a mall, folks. In a mall. Which actually then makes it very interesting. Because, again, how is Scott going to take this? Oh, goodness. I just thought of it. So, what if... Oh, my... So, I'm not thinking lore-wise right now, I'm thinking video game-wise right now, like gameplay style, what's going to be there. Lore-wise, I can't figure out heads or tails of it. All I can figure is it's probably in 2058. And definitely not in 1958. So, 2058. 
that's more than likely the year, which means important dates are going to start popping up in the future. Great job, Scott. You confused everyone. Anyways, for my gameplay idea for what I'm... If it is like the other games, or well, the original games where, you know, you have your monitor, you might have sound, I don't know. Um, you've got your light, you're sitting in a chair, that kind of thing. I would say you're probably the security guard for a mall. And if you're the security guard for the mall, then that means you have an entire mall to cover. And so this would make it a more significantly different game. Like, say, you, your cameras are, like, main hall, and then you have camera subsys subsystems, where, like, the arcade, you, and then it'll zoom in and show all the cameras inside the arcade, all the cameras inside Fizer's Pizza, all the cameras inside whatever this is, all the cameras inside Laser Tag, and all the other areas. And so you have to monitor all these areas, watching out for animatronics using who knows what as your defense. Considering that controlled shocks have made a bigger appearance, I'd imagine that might have something to do with this game, giving an animatronic a controlled shock if they get too close. But, I mean, as for now, all we can say is that this series, it's going to be going in many different ways.